As you've had a chance to watch 24-7, what have you learned about Floyd? <laughs> uh, just what I've learned, he's still the same little Brett that uh, I mentioned he was. I mean, it's nothing's new. And uh, obviously it's been uh, a lot of fun with uh, HBO uh, being with in our camp uh, every day and it's uh, it's always been a, a great pleasure to have uh, the cameras although sometimes it can get a little uh, um, what should I say a little old but uh, it's always uh, fun having a, a great crew around us. Floyd same question to you hey. what have you learned about Oscar throughout all of this? I just learned that Oscar De La Hoya is who he is he's a fighter with no personality and uh, come May 5th it's blood sweat and tears for Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, obviously uh, your father was not as part of your team. Then during the 24-7 series, you saw your dad coming to the gym. There are reports that your dad may no longer be part of the picture. What is the status uh -huh. of your father in camp right now? Well, my dad must realize, my dad's a, um, a hell of a trainer. Fr Freddie Roach is a hell of a trainer. And um, um, like I'm not the only uh, good fighter out there. My daddy's not the only good trainer out there. Uh, my dad's a hell of a trainer. Roger Mayweather is a good trainer. The best trainer in the world is Roger Mayweather, my uncle. Uh, I feel good. I'm ready to fight. But is your dad still in the camp with you? Still coming to the gym or no? Well, my dad haven't been to the no. My dad haven't been to the gym lately. But if he want to come, he can come. If he don't, if he don't want to come, he don't have to come. It's not going to change the outcome of the fight because I know what I have to go out there and do. Oscar, obviously you've worked with Floyd's dad. Now you have Freddie Roach, an accomplished trainer. Are you concerned at all about the fact that Floyd was in Floyd Jr.'s camp and maybe gave away some secrets? No, I mean, I'm not concerned whatsoever. We did our job and we, uh, we accomplished what we had to accomplish. Freddie Roach is a, is a great trainer. He uh, pushed me to my limits and, uh, you know, that's what I needed. That's what I wanted uh, for this fight. Going up against uh, Mayweather, you have to be at your best. So uh, we are at our best. Oscar, one of the interesting things about 24-7 that we've learned through the first two episodes is you bringing in a championship fighter in his own right, Sugar Shane Mosley, to work with you. Talk about what that experience was like and why more fighters don't tap into the experience and talents of championship caliber sparring. Well, it's all about uh, you know being mature about this game and, and making sure that you uh, get all the knowledge uh, possible. Um, you know, I mean, we had we had you know Sugar Shane Mosley uh, do us the favor and help us out and it was to me a great honor and a, a great pleasure working with him I mean he has a uh, uh, tremendous power uh, along with speed and um, you know he's a master at emulating styles and he had Mayweather down to a T so it you know we got great work and at the same time he got great work too. Floyd you've always been a very likable figure very talented young man uh, as we've watched 24-7 <laughs> unfold we've seen your personality come out but you seem to be relishing playing the role of villain. Why did you choose to take that tact in this run-up to De La Hoya Mayweather? Well, let me let me let me uh, touch on one subject. As far as Shane Mosley, it's more like um, um, Shane Mosley did help Oscar get ready for the biggest fight in his career, um, facing me, Floyd Mayweather. But um, did Oscar help Shane get ready for for Fernando Vargas? Like I said before, all those guys over at Golden Boy are none but puppets. And 24-7, uh, like I said before, the show is basically based upon two fighters, Oscar De La Hoy, myself, Floyd Mayweather. But when, when the fans and the people watch 24-7, the show is about me. Like I said before, my lifestyle, is, my lifestyle is flashy and flamboyant forever. I'm blessed. May 5th, buy pay-per-view. It's the biggest fight in boxing history. Oscar, you've seen the antics up close and personal at the press conferences and all the things leading up to this, and you've watched the show. I mean, has he gotten under your skin at all at this point? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's all about, you know, making sure your opponent gets under your skin. As long as he doesn't get inside your head, that's, uh, you know, fine and dandy with me. Um, mission accomplished. He, uh, he got under my skin and uh, made me train hard, and that's what... That's what we, uh, we wanted, is to train hard, and uh, we just have to make sure that we're in control uh, that night uh, come May 5th. Oscar, we're one week away from the showdown. Obviously, Floyd has tremendous physical gifts. He's got tremendous speed. What are some of the keys for you in this fight as far as dealing with that when Floyd does flash that speed and athleticism? Well, just uh, adjust to it and, um, you know, make sure we do uh, everything that we have to do. I mean, obviously... 
come May 5th, it's going to be me and him up in that ring, and uh, you know we'll have to deal with it. So whatever I bring to the table, I have to deal with, and whatever he brings to the table, uh, I'll have to deal with. So it's going to be uh, pretty interesting to watch. Floyd, obviously with your physical gifts as a boxer and all the <laughs> speed that you bring to the sport, we've seen you go out and dominate early and then just sort of take it easy. Oscar has tremendous pedigree in his background. What happens when Oscar gets you in a position where you're going to have to fight toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Well, it's more like this. Um, like I said before in all my interviews, everybody had a game plan for Floyd Mayweather. It's obvious that the game plans that everybody had for Floyd Mayweather wasn't working. You know, Come May 5th, uh, they can have a game plan. They can keep pressure. You can apply pressure. Uh, you can you can throw the big left hook. It's not gonna work. You know I know what it takes. I've been here before. Uh, I mean I've been in there with uh, big punches. Uh, Twenty years of hard work and dedication. May fifth, you're gonna see the best Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, one final question for you, and then I'll pose it to Oscar as well. With one week to go in the fight, have there been any physical problems, health problems, leading up to this showdown? Oh no, my, yeah, of course. You know my weight is made. You know. I'm the only fighter you know that can come from 130 and dominate the way that I dominated in the sport of boxing. And, and May 5th, you're going to see the same Floyd Mayweather. I'm in, in tremendous shape, 150, 151, looking good, feeling good. Uh, my team is ready to go, and I'm pretty sure Oscar team is ready to go. Oscar, I'll pose the same question to you. Any physical setbacks at all during your camp here leading up to the fight? No, it's interesting that it's the first time um, uh, in my whole boxing career that I have no injuries whatsoever. So that was... Uh, kind of like a blessing in disguise because normally when we have injuries we have to take uh, you know a week off two weeks off to let it heal but this time um, you know it was everything was fine and dandy and we can uh, we were able to work um, you know all the time so uh, that was uh, that was something uh, really positive in our training camp. Oscar, Floyd, thank you for a couple of minutes uh, we enjoy the 24-7 series and best of luck next Saturday night. Appreciate it. Thank you.